Oh, guys, it's Albert from Vapor Nation. I'm wearing a hat. I just realized that. I'm a little lazy doing my hair today, so I just throw a hat. Besides that, another juice review. Another juice review for you guys today. Sorry, I can't talk right now. So I found these guys on Instagram. Really, really cool people. Uh, that's really all I can say about just meeting them. Really, um, Instagram. Really good connections on Instagram. Anyways, this juice company is called E Juice to Die For, and their packaging and their whole label look is just amazing. They sent this is one of the first companies that I've gotten that have like legit pamphlets. You know, a little like how you know how they got started. Uh, they have an our compromise shows like what they want to do with themselves. They give a nice flavor description here. They have about the artists that create all this stuff. Really neat, really cool to have. So I'm gonna be using this to uh, help me do these reviews of the juices. <clears throat> so another thing that was really really sweet is their bottles. Really nice bottles, and they come with this nice uh, like skull and bone kind of looking pendant. Really, really sweet stuff. The bottles are stellar. Never seen anything like this ever. Really, really cool. Really cool stuff. So they were really nice enough to send me four 15 milliliter glass dripping bottles. I always appreciate that. I appreciate any juice they send to me, whether it's five milliliters, 30 milliliters. It's really sweet that people are so kind enough to send stuff like this. And I really appreciate that. I want I want you guys to know that that I appreciate I, re I appreciate it very much. So they sent me four of them. Uh, I just cracked them open. I have not vaped any of this stuff yet. So let's get into this. Uh, I guess the first one I'll try is Sing Don't Cry. Let's see what it says on here. Sing Don't Cry, a cocktail blend of hypnotic and watermelon. Whew, that sounds amazing. Um, I have a really nice build on here right now. I just built it this morning. It's a uh, twisted 28 gauge dual micro coils. Vapes really, really well. Really good, really good build. Oh, that's, that smells really, really good. I love doing first impression videos because I never know I never know how I'm going to react, I never know what I'm going to say, so it should be fun. So this is E Juice to Die For's Sing Don't Cry. Whoa. This is a 6 milligram juice and it's kicking like a, it's kicking like about a 12. But man, Ooh. really good stuff. Really good. Um, on the inhale, a very nice watermelon. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not super sweet. It's very like. It's a watermelon. You can taste watermelon. It's not like oh my god, freaking watermelon. It's not so much. It's not too much watermelon, I should say. It's very nice, subtle watermelon. It's pretty good. On the exhale, you get kind of like this alcoholic kind of taste. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it's really like, it's like little notes of like, I guess you could say hypnotic. I've, I've had, I've had, had some hypnotic in my time and uh, yeah it, it, it kind of does taste like that it's not completely like spot on with it it mixes really nice together though it's in a very nice mix I don't know if it's something I'd vape all day uh, it's more of like when I want kind of like a sweeter mellower type of vape it's not something I'd be like <laughs> all day on you know 
So that was a Sing Don't Cry. Is a hypnotic watermelon. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. The next one I'll do is Remember Me. So let me go ahead and read you the description on this one. Remember Me. This is a twist of traditional sweet tart with a new added flavor, pomegranate. That sounds good. Don't mind if I, uh, don't mind if I do. Take this off. These bottles are super nice. Really dig it. And if you guys don't know who's playing in the background right now, the music, that's my band. My band's playing in the background. I do vocals for uh, my band. We're, we're called Send Them Sin. Just thought I'd throw that in there. This Tuesday, we're playing to compete for a spot for Vans Warped Tour, which is really sweet. It's pretty cool. Whoa. I just got like the scent of the vape, and it smells really, really good. I already read you this. Sweet tart pomegranate. So this is the... Remember me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Really, really good. Really, really good actually. You can definitely taste the sweet tartiness in it. It's very nice. It's almost like when you get a sweet tart and you bite into it and it kind of has like that, that sour kind of sugary taste. On the inhale, on the exhale, you get that nice subtle pomegranate. Very mouthwatering. Very, very nice. Vapor production on it, very stellar. Um, let me see if they give a ratio of uh, Excuse me. Yeah, they don't give a PGVG ratio. I'm gonna guess it's somewhere from 50-50 or 70-30, um, 70 VG, 30 PG, something like that. I'm not positive. Really good stuff. And uh, you know the labeling on all these bottles are just the icing on the cake. You know they really just it pops in it. It really sells it. Like it makes you want to get this juice and taste it. And you should you should really taste this stuff. Got two more for you. The next one I'll do is Death's Delight. Let me read you the description for this one. Death's Delight is a delightful creamy mix of banana, Bavarian cream, and toasted almonds that is a perfect all-day vape. Bold words to say that it's an all-day vape. Because not everyone can say their juices are all-day vapes. So hopefully they are right. I've never really had an almond anything. Oh, that smells really creamy and banana-y. This is Death's Delight. Excuse me. Wow. Hmm. The banana is very nice in it. It really stands out amongst the uh, the Bavarian cream and the almonds. It's it's very nice. Very very good. So on the inhale straight on the taste buds, very nice banana, mouth watery, very very good banana. On the exhale you can definitely feel the cream, the creaminess in your mouth. Um, a little hint of roasted almond, it's not like super nutty, it's very subtle, very mellow. And they don't lie when they say it's an all day vape, I can, I can see myself vaping this all day, no problem. Very, very good. Very nice. So that was Death's Delight. And the final um, juice that I got from them is Eternal Love.
And that's a little picture of a couple, a uh, skeleton couple. Pretty cool. Uh, Eternal Love, a savory dessert blend. They had me at dessert. Dessert blend of coconut, banana, and vanilla cupcake with a hint of toasted almond. Sweet. Let me drink some of this. <clears throat> I'm a really big fan of desserty vapes. So I hope this is super good. This is eternal love. Hmm. Very nice mix of the coconut. You can definitely taste some cupcake in there. Again, the t you can definitely taste like little notes of the toasted, <coughs> toasted, toasted, toasted almond. Not super nutty again. Very, very nice. Very well made. I gotta really do this. Banana and van vanilla cupcake is really what stands out in it. The coconut is also very noticeable. Very good for anyone that's like me that likes really nice desserty vapes. Very enjoyable, really mouth watering. Just like all of these cheeses. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I really appreciate all the support I've had. <clears throat> if you can like my videos, share them around, that'd be sweet. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, vape on.